What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the Origins character missions done for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. So these are the Zombies characters, the Primus Zombies characters. These are the guys from Origins and pretty much all the Black Ops 3 Zombies maps. So it's Dempsey, Nikolai, Takeo, and Rick Toffin. And they are now available in Blackout. They're available on PS4. They're available on PS4 last week, but they're available on Xbox One and PC today. So we're going to be going over how you guys can actually unlock these characters. And I've talked about this on stream really quickly. I just want to point this out that uh, there's other guides out there that aren't actually correct. And so that's one of the big reasons why I wanted to make this guide is to give you guys the actual correct information as to how you unlock these characters. So... The first character we're going to take a look at here as to how you unlock is Dempsey. And there's also going to be timestamps in the description that if you want to just unlock a specific character, you guys can actually like click on that link and you can go to that specific timestamp. But the first character is Dempsey. So Dempsey's character mission item is a Juggernaut bottle. So this can spawn at a number of locations around the Blackout map. It can spawn in the Nuketown Bunker. So it will spawn in the Nuketown Bunker. It will spawn here is where I actually found it is the diner portion of the Nuketown Bunker. But if it's not actually here, I would have a look around still within the bunker a little bit and uh, see if it's, uh, you know, maybe someplace else. But if it's not at Nuketown, you can find it sometimes in the mystery box. So like say the mystery box at Lighthouse, the mystery box at the boxing gym, and then also in Asylum, you can find the thing over there as well, or even at Diner, you know, there's any of the mystery boxes, you have a chance of finding it there. It's not always guaranteed, but there is a chance that if you hit up the mystery box, you'll be able to find Dempsey's Juggernaut bottle. You can also get it from the Blightfather event. So the Blightfather event is, I don't think it's available on PlayStation anymore, but it's available right now still on Xbox and PC. So if you kill the Blightfather, the Blightfather has a chance to drop the Juggernaut bottle. Or I've also heard that you can find it on the top floor of the lighthouse. But for me, the easiest way I've found this is just to go to the Nuketown Bunker. This is where I found it several, several times. And this is the one I would recommend doing because, like I said, Mystery Box, Blight Father, those are just a chance of it spawning there. So either like drop at the lighthouse and search around there and then move over to Nuketown and you're going to you know, have a really good chance of finding it. But once you actually do find Dempsey's Juggernaut bottle, his character mission item, all you need to do is kill an enemy with any grenade. So this can be a cluster grenade, it can be a regular frag grenade. I'm not sure exactly if it is a Molotov, I haven't seen that, but all I do know is that if it's a, a grenade, like a, a cluster grenade or a regular grenade, then you're going to be able to get it. So what I would recommend doing is trying to stock up on as many cluster grenades as you can, and then just try and find somebody on the map who might be like camping in a building or something, and then just light them up with as many cluster grenades and grenades and stuff as possible. And if you do this, then boom, you are good, and it will show up on the character mission item that you completed that step and then all you have to do after this is literally just finish the match with the juggernaut bottle in your inventory you don't have to take any specific place you just have to finish the match with it in your inventory so as soon as you get you know the kill with it then you're good that's the hardest part about it is just finding it getting the kill with the grenade and then boom you're done you just got to finish it with your inventory so as long as you don't like accidentally drop it out of your inventory you'll be good so that is Dempsey, that's how you unlock him. He's actually probably the second hardest of these characters, in my opinion. Um, but all, honestly, like all these characters are pretty easy compared to some of the other Blackout characters. The next character we're going to be taking a look at here is Nikolai. And Nikolai is actually probably one of the easier ones to do. So Nikolai, his character mission item is the Russian Tanker Hat. So this can be found uh, two ways. You can either get this from the Blightfather event. So if you kill the Blightfather, then you know he has a chance of dropping this. But once again, just like with like the Juggernaut bottle, it's only a chance of it dropping this. So I wouldn't count on this, but there is another method you can use to be able to get this 100% of the time. So at the same area at the graveyard, that's where the Blightfather always spawns, there is a locked mausoleum. So as you guys see here, this is where the locked mausoleum is. And if you throw a symbol monkey at the door, uh, you will throw a monkey, It'll sit there, it'll go through its thing, and then it'll explode, and it will open the door, revealing the uh, Russian tanker hat sitting right here on top of this. And so you can find symbol monkeys all over the place 
in the graveyard. It's just a matter of, you know, finding one, hurrying, throwing one, and not getting, like, killed by other people who land here. Because currently, it is crazy. All of these, like, places that have all these new items and stuff, everybody drops. Everybody is dropping at graveyard. Everybody's dropping at asylum and all this stuff. It is absolutely crazy. So just make sure that you hurry and grab yourself the symbol monkey and then hurry and throw it at the locked mausoleum and then you'll get it. So if it's if the mausoleum is already open, then you already know that somebody's already grabbed it. And then, of course, you know, your only other chance at getting it in that game is possibly killing the blight father but once you have obtained the russian tanker hat all you have to do next is you have to place top three in quads top five in duos or top 10 in solos so this is kind of a challenge for some people i personally i don't really like these types of challenges where you have to place at a certain spot but top three in quads that's you know it's probably one of the hardest things to do so what i would recommend for some of these ones is to either go into duos or in the solos because in duos you got to place top five and top five isn't as hard as you know top three in quads or even winning for some of these ones but then top 10 in solos like that's only with you know 10 percent of the lobby still in there if you have a full lobby and then once you know you place in those top ones you just have to finish the match with it in your inventory so if you place top three and you die but you're at least third in quads then you got it if you place top five in duos and if you place top 10 in solos you got it as long as you finish it with your it in your inventory then you'll be good you'll unlock nikolai so nikolai is actually one of the easier ones to do just because there's always the russian tinker hat that spawns here it will spawn here every single time that you play blackout it will always spawn in here just get a monkey throw it there and you got nikolai the next character we're going to be taking a look at is takeo or takio so his character mission is the letter to the emperor so Takeo is one of the easier ones to do. It's actually easier than Nikolai because Takeo is seriously so, so easy. So his character mission is the letter to the emperor and this can spawn at a number of locations. But I, I personally, I feel like I, this isn't confirmed. This isn't like, you know, this is just kind of me speculating, but I'm pretty sure you can get multiple of these in the exact same game because I played a lot of games on Blackout on stream the past couple nights and every single time I went up to one of these items, I was able to get it with like 100% of the time without fail. So the letter to the emperor, the way you can get this is you can get it the fourth floor of the lighthouse. You can get it at the asylum or the boxing gym. So you get this by interacting with a typewriter or you can also find it through the blight father event. But once again, the blight father isn't always, you know, going to give you, you know, this item when you kill it. And the Blight Father event isn't always, you know, active. Sometimes, you know, like on PlayStation, I'm pretty sure the Blight Father event isn't active anymore, but it is currently active for this week only on Xbox and PC. So, at Lighthouse, if you go up to the level with the catwalk going around the outside of the lighthouse if you go inside you'll find a table that will have an, a, a typewriter on it and the same thing can be found in the boxing gym there's a typewriter in here but asylum is probably one of the easier places to get this because if you go into this room here in asylum you can go up to this typewriter and if you hold x or square whatever your interact button is whatever your reload button is on this typewriter it will spawn the letter to the emperor if you have to pick it up here it'll spawn it you pick it up and then once you have this item, you are good. So the next thing you need to do for Takeo is literally to just not use any equipment. So that includes grenades, concussions, barricades, sensor darts, any of that stuff. Don't use smoke grenades, don't use concussion, none of that stuff. You can't use anything like that. So what I did in my game is I just dropped every one of those items in my inventory just so I didn't like accidentally hit it and throw a grenade or something like that. But, you know, just give it, if you're playing like, you know, in quads or duos, I literally, I just gave all my equipment to my partner and had him carry all of it. And I carried, you know, other stuff as well instead of, you know, all, you know, all the, uh, the equipment and stuff. But you literally just don't use any equipment in the game and that'll complete that challenge. So the next thing you have to do is to place top three in quads. So that's the same as Nikolai, you know, not, not too bad there. But it's probably easiest to do in duos or solos. You have to place top 8 in duos or top 15 in solos. So this one is easier than Nikolai because there's an extra 3 spots you can do for duos. And an extra 5 spots you can do for solos. So for Takeo, I'd recommend doing duos or solos. It's actually really easy to get. And then all you have to do is finish the match with the letters of the Emperor in your inventory. Not terribly hard. The hardest part about 
say probably Nikolai and Takeo is just placing you know top three in quads and for Nikolai placing top five in duos or for Takeo placing top eight in duos that's gonna be the hardest part about this for a lot of people it's just actually like you know because you're easily gonna be able to get these character items it's just a matter of you know having you know good enough luck to not get killed like right after you get it or not to get killed you know say you're top 16 you know you play 16th and you die you know it's just luck based as like that but uh, honestly, these are actually pretty easy, and uh, Nikolai and Takeo are probably the two easiest zombie characters that you can get. So next one that we have here is Richtofen. Richtofen is honestly the hardest one to get out of these four. So Richtofen, his character item is the Blood Vials. So the Blood Vials are something you can get either by interacting with the Blood Fountain in Asylum or from the Blightfather event. So I just want to point out right now that if you want to get Richtofen, you are going to have to unlock one of these three previous characters. You're going to have to play as Dempsey, Nikolai, or Takeo. You're going to have to play as one of them and have them as your like actual character, or else this will not work. Unless, of course, you go for the Blightfather event. But if you're trying to do the interacting with the Blood Fountain in Asylum, you're going to have to play as one of the premise zombie characters. Now, right there, that is key. That is something I haven't seen anybody post on any other videos here on YouTube or on Reddit or anything, but that is like that is one of these essential steps that if you don't play as one of those characters, you're not gonna be able to do this. I always play as a frogman character and I was not able to do this. I, I played probably like 10 games where I tried doing this and it did not work at all. But then the first game I played, when I played as Dempsey, I was able to get it. Easy as that. So once you play as a Zombies character, so Dempsey, Nikolai, or Takeo, all you have to do for the Blood Vials, if you're going to go for the Blood Fountains. So, like I said, the Blightfather event, you can get it from that, but once again, the Blightfather event isn't always active, and also, you know, you might not always get this item from the Blightfather. So, the 100% sure method to be able to get this is you can actually use the Russian Tanker Hat or the Letter to the Emperor, and you can use those to transform those into the blood vials at the blood fountain in asylum so you can actually change those out so what i would recommend doing for this one is either going for the russian tanker hat my guess my opinion is to go for the letters of the emperor is the easier one out of the two to do because all you have to do is right off the bat wherever you are on the map hurry and go straight to asylum and then you go up to the room with the typewriter in it and get the letter to the emperor but you're not actually going to be going for takeo Instead, take that letter to the Emperor, come over here to the Blood Fountain in Asylum, and it will actually show up as a prompt on your screen to interact with the fountain. And so you can hold square or hold X, and it will interact with the Blood Fountain in Asylum, and it will take that letter to the Emperor or the Russian Tanker hat out of your inventory, and instead it will spawn the Blood Vials right there on the fountain. You pick those up, and then you have the Blood Vials, you have that character mission for Richtofen. Now once you finally get it, here comes the hard part of this character. So, you have to place top two in quads. You have to place top three in duos, or top five in solos. So, just for reference and comparison's sake, for Takeo, you, you gotta place top 15 in solos, and Nikolai is top 10 in solos, while Richtofen is top five in solos. And, uh, you know, once again, for reference, for Takeo, it's top eight in duos, Nikolai, top five in duos, Richtofen, top three in duos. And then, you know, once again, for another reference, for Takeo, top three in quads, Nikolai, top three in quads, Richtofen, top two in quads. So, yeah, that is going to be the hardest part about this, is just literally getting to that place. I mean, honestly, like, sometimes interacting with the Blood Fountain can be hard, because by the time you actually, you know, it, it can be sometimes kind of a struggle in order to get the letter to the Emperor, and not dying right off the bat, or when you go over to the Blood Fountain and you're trying to interact with it, I've had a bunch of games where people have just killed me as soon as I start interacting with it, but then actually, like, once you get it, I would recommend just dipping out of Asylum and probably just hiding up somewhere, that way you can just basically hide your way until you get to, tell, like, you know, top five in solos, top three in duos, and top two in quads. That is going to be the hardest part about this. Best of luck to everybody. The last portion of this is literally just to finish the match with the blood vials in your inventory. So, of course, you know, just make sure that you don't ever drop it for something else. You always have it in your inventory. And you place top two in quads, top three in duos, or top five in solos. So, yeah, there you guys go. Richtofen is the hardest one of them all. But uh, the rest of them were actually pretty easy. 
And there you guys go. Now you know how to 100% get ricked off in 100% of the time. You don't have to, you know, just go up and interact with it. You have to play as a zombie character. So if you're trying to get ricked off in, make sure you have one of these other characters unlocked first and make sure you're playing with them or else you will not be able to get it from the blood fountain in Asylum. So that's something I haven't seen any other YouTubers or any, you know, people on Reddit saying is that you have to play as a zombie character. Make sure you guys do that. That is absolutely essential. And that's, you know, one reason why I'm wanting to make this video is to give you guys the actual correct information about this because everybody else is just saying, oh, interact with the blood fountain, but that will not give you it unless you're playing as a zombie character. So there you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is how you unlock all these character missions. I'm thinking about doing uh, character mission unlocked for like every other uh, character, as well as any new characters coming to Blackout sometime in the future. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments down below and about these new characters. Tell me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.